Hey everybody, Coach Will here. Hopefully you guys had fun with the conditioning. That being said, we are going to have you guys go into the strength portion right now or the weights portion right now. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of supersets. So we've got two supersets and then one kind of all out fun little bit. Now, the first superset we're gonna start off with, this is gonna be two to three sets and it's gonna depend based on your level of fatigue from the conditioning. If you want to do a little bit more, by all means, do a little bit more. If you wanna hold it back and stick with the two sets, be a little bit conservative, that's completely fine. First exercise in this superset is gonna be broad jumps. We're gonna be choosing to go for around six or so repetitions, focusing on good technique. If your technique starts to falter a little bit, then ramp it down to a few less repetitions. That's gonna be prepared with an upper body movement in the re uh, reverse flies. That being said, for the broad jumps, I'm gonna focus on assuming an athletic position. Now make sure that you have space for the jumping. I'm gonna show from the side and then be jumping towards the camera. That being said, I'm going to get into an athletic position. So weight is going to be in that kind of that mid foot position. Arms can be behind the body. You're going to see that I have bend in through my knees and my hips. That nice stable position. Almost like you're kind of ready for that takeoff position. Now, rather than a vertical jump, a horizontal or broad jump is going to be in that kind of forward direction. Really getting that tension in through the hips. I'm going to focus on my landing as much as I'm going to focus on my takeoff. So when I get primed, nice and stable, dropping on down, driving, I'm focusing on landing nice and softly, staring directly at the camera so you can see my mustache. Nice and stable with that landing. Get back up and we can return back the way we came. Again, up overhead, drop down, drive, catch yourself. If you are doing this indoors, again, this isn't focusing on that vertical. You shouldn't have to worry about ceilings, but make sure that if you got carpet, you're not sliding too much. Now, again, if you have distance or if you have somewhere green outside your place, I would recommend using that. Go for a little bit extra kind of shock absorption in the ground. And also you'll have a little bit more distance to play around with as well, too. That being said, about six repetitions for those broad jumps. And you, then you're going to be going on to reverse flies. Reverse flies, you're going to need some weights. I'm just going to use light canned goods for this one. That being said, if you have shopping bags, you can fill those with equal amounts of weights. I'm going to break the hips back, nice and stable in through my upper back, nice and controlled through my trunk and chin tucked back. I'm going to bend the elbows slightly, big squeeze between the shoulder blades as they come on up, elbows stay in a consistent bend, about perpendicular to the ground, almost like a reverse of that kind of the hugging a barrel. So that control squeeze up between the shoulders, control back down to that start position. We're gonna go for 10 repetitions of this. This is more to help you recover before the next set of the broad jumps before anything else, but you will get a little bit of that fatigue through the upper body as well too for that. After that, weights can go down, and then you're gonna go into your second set of broad jumps when you're ready. Now again, rest as needed for this one. Once you've done that, back and forth between those two exercises, two to three times, you get to go on to the second one or the second superset. Second superset is gonna be eight to 10 repetitions for a walking lunge, weighted or unweighted, up to you. That's gonna be eight to 10 repetitions each side. So focusing on that stable step forward, dropping on down, knee in line with that front toe, big drive up, and then repeat opposite side. Now make sure that you're not having that back knee touch down on the floor or on the deck nice and stable as you drop on down and big power through that front leg. You can choose to have this as an alternating movement where you are immediately stepping down, driving up and repeating into the next repetition, or you can go into that step forward, down, feet together, and then into that switch side position as you get your balance. Choose whatever works for you. And if you would prefer an alternative with a reverse lunges or that Split squat position, that's completely fine. Making sure that you're doing eight each side for that one. This is gonna be paired with the black burns. Movement again, working on the upper back, upper body stability, down on the ground. I'm gonna go arms, palms up behind my back, light squeeze between the shoulders like you're tilting your shoulder blades back into the shoulder or into the kind of that mid back position. Nice and stable, palms up. We're gonna bring the palms or bring the arms about perpendicular to the body, just slightly under, and then go palms down over the body. 
control back down as they get back to perpendicular, bombs up and go behind the body. Really focusing on that nice stable shoulder position. Big squeeze, letting the shoulder blades move dynamically up overhead throughout that movement. Now, that one is going to be, again, eight to 10 repetitions. Once you've completed one set of that, you're gonna go right back to the walking lunges, repeating that for another two more supersets. Now, once you've done that, we're gonna go on to the final station, or the final little bit of work, and we get to go into something called mile reps. Now, we're gonna do mile reps with a chair-assisted skull crusher. What this is gonna be is, you're gonna choose a exercise or choose an overall body position that you can complete probably around anywhere from kind of five to 30 repetitions with good technique of this exercise. You're then going to rest after that kind of close to failure position, take in three to five deep breaths, and then repeat again, trying to get as many reps as you can again. Most likely you're not going to be getting more than kind of three or five repetitions. Now, what that would look like is say, I go into a skull crusher position, up on the balls of the feet, keeping my elbows in one position. We're gonna to bow towards the chair, extend the arms nice and straight, and then repeat. Say I'm able to get 20 repetitions for that chair-assisted skull crusher. I would then get nice and tall, take a deep breath in. Now this doesn't have to be a long rest time. Deep breath in one, two, three reps or three breaths, and then back into position again immediately, trying to get close to as many repetitions as I can. You'll find that if you did the first set appropriately, you won't get more than three to around six repetitions before you start to feel like your technique is gonna fail. Now again, once I've done that, take a deep breath in. We're going to again do this three to five deep breaths and repeat for our third set for this one. Going for that challenge. Again, most likely now at this point, there will be heavy fatigue in through the triceps. You're most likely not gonna get more than five repetitions again for that one. Make sure you take some recovery after that. Now, once we've done all of those, we are going to end off with some core movements. Two movements, nice and simple. This is gonna be four sets. Each exercise is gonna be done 30 seconds through. We're gonna start with a hollow body hold for 30 seconds, lying face up on the ground. Now from here, you can choose to bend the elbow or bend the knees if you need to, but if you wanna go for that challenge, legs extended, lift the upper back off the ground, push that low back down into the ground. Arms can be either down alongside the trunk or up overhead so you can see the sweat stains. Nice and control, 30 seconds one side. And then we're gonna flip onto our back to a superman, lower body, nice and relaxed, upper body, nice and controlled, lifting that chest up off the ground, trying to use the nice controlled extensors throughout my upper body, not just in through that low back, should I get in through that thoracic extension as well too, chin tuck back, 30 seconds, roll back onto your hollow body for 30, and we're gonna do that as needed, 30 seconds for each exercise for four rounds altogether. After that, you get to have a little bit more fun. If you want, you can do some extra credit with another round of your conditioning. Otherwise, you can cool down. Great job, guys. Otherwise, stay safe, have fun.